What up YouTube? Welcome back to another Division 2 video and today is Wednesday. Cassie Mendoza has been resetted the last day of the vendor reset. Yesterday we saw a godly FAL in the vendor reset and hopefully today Cassie has some good stuff in store for us. Thanks for clicking my content, really appreciate you joining me and if you like my content and want to help the channel out because that's how YouTube works, smash that like button. And of course hit that subscribe button with that little notification bell next to it if you didn't do it already to keep informed whenever I upload new videos. But are you ready? Let's go! And there we are guys, at Cassie Mendoza, the new reliable is for sale here, of course the named LMG with perfectly optimized on there, but it isn't great if you ask me. Only 11.7% LMG damage, 9% damage to target out of cover, and then 9.3% accuracy. Not loving the combo. Then we have the named Alps backpack with perfect tech support on there. If you want to go for that perfect tech support, giving you that 27 seconds of extra skill damage, then definitely pick it up because if you roll that repair skills away for some skill damage, you have a near to god roll backpack. Over to the shield splinter, 11.7% assault rifle, 15.5% health and 8.9% reload speed. And of course, because it's the named assault rifle, perfect optimist on there. Not a great buy if you ask me. Over to the hunter killer and this could be a very nice buy. 4.7% critical hit chance already on there with 135k armor. Of course, because it's the named golem gear, it's the perfect intimidate. Then you have 7.5% explosive resistance but roll that away for whatever you think is necessary and you have a pretty nice hunter killer. If you don't see the shield splinter or if you don't see the hunter killer that means you need to take out all the hunters within the game. For the shield splinter you need to take out all the year 1 hunters. Take them out they will drop 8 keys for you. With those 8 keys you can open up a box in the white house. After you opened up the box, the shield splinter will be for sale every week at Cassie Mendoza. Same for the hunter killer, but now take out all the year 2 hunters. They will drop 8 keys for you, open up a box in Haven, and then after you opened up that box, the hunter killer will always be for sale at Cassie Mendoza. Over to the Strikers Battle Gear Backpack, 11.5% weapon damage, 6.5% weapon handling, not a great buy, the weapon damage is too low and you do not want that weapon handling on there. Then over to the Rigger, with 4.2k arm regeneration, not something that you're looking for but it has a skill tier so if you have the blueprint always craft it. Over to the Gloves of Hunter's Fury with only 11.7% weapon damage on there and 8.8% hazard protection. In my opinion you do not want that hazard protection on there and the 11.7% is too low to roll the hazard protection away. Knee pads from Foundry Bulwark could be a very nice buy as you saw my never die again, my immortal build from a few days ago. This is a very very nice gear set to have and it already has that 1.4k armor regeneration on there. Then you can roll that armor to that max cap of 170, optimize the last arm regeneration and you have pretty decent knee pads. Over to the ongoing directive with 4.7% critical hit chance already on the holster. In that case, roll the weapon damage to that max cap and optimize the last 1.3% critical hit chance to get it to god roll. Pretty decent buy if you're still looking for it. Strikers battle gear, only 11% weapon damage and 9.2% status effect. I'm not loving the status effect as an attribute and the weapon damage is too low to roll the status effect away. Please leave it here. Over to the FAL, not great if you ask me, too low in rolls and unempty on there. Of course if you want to go for some attributes as headshot damage, then roll that unempty away for whatever you think is necessary and optimize the rest, but it's gonna set you back, better pick that up on the DZs, you know that near to god roll. Over to the classic M44 carbine, maxed out marksman rifle 15%. 107% headshot damage already on there and if you want to go for the talent first blood then roll it optimal range away for some damage you target out of cover and you have a near to god roll classic M44. Could be a very nice buy. Over to the China Light, 
Double blue and Empathic Resolve on there. Not the great rolls. Or not the rolls that I'm looking for on China Light. With the 8.8% hazard and the 4.1k armor generation. Knee pads from Gila. 130k armor or almost 130k armor. 4k armor regeneration and 7.7% skill haste. If you want to go for some armor regeneration on the Gila. Then definitely roll that skill haste away for whatever you think is necessary. This could be a decent buy if you're still looking for it over to the mods 16.8k armor on kill and for the last one 8.4 percent scan range for your drone but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this week's vendor reset this was cassie's mendoza reset could be a lot better if you ask me luckily yesterday we had that godly fal to pick up but yeah that's pretty much it for this week Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribers button and of course the notification bell. Pure Prime out!